upgraded to a Category 5 shitstorm. I think you got to get the money out of the news business. People have difficulty now just sorting out what's true and what's not. Donald Trump encouraged you to do this show. He did. He said to say hello. Okay. Well, tell him not to sue me again. It's my house. The Democrats have to stop being so nice. It's my house, baby. Whiny little <laughs> bitch. We must continue with the political revolution. Don't ever let them forget we're still here. New rule, someone must warn Jessica Hayes, the Indiana woman who participated in a rare Catholic wedding ceremony where she married Jesus, not to expect too much from the honeymoon. <laughs> I don't know what you said or the delusion that Jesus would even want to marry you, or all those wasted hours striking a seductive pose on the bed waiting for him to come out of the bathroom. Neural, now that Idaho has had to replace their highway's mile 420 markers <laughs> with ones that read mile 419.9 because potheads predictably kept stealing the sign that say 420. <clears throat> they have to turn it into a math problem. If a carload of stoners starts out traveling at 19 miles an hour in the fast lane <laughs> and stops to giggle at the mile 69, how long before they realize they're headed in the wrong direction? <laughs> New rule, red pandas have to admit that they're actually plush toys. Nothing could possibly be this cute. Somewhere, there are a couple of baby seals thinking, well, we had a pretty good run, didn't we? <laughs> New rule, Hillary Clinton has to stop always looking like she's doing stand-up. <laughs> hey, what's the deal with Benghazi? <laughs> Why do they always call about terrorist attacks right when you get in the shower? <laughs> Although Jerry Seinfeld would be jealous of the email scandal, it really is a show about nothing. <laughs> Neuro, somebody needs to tell Hardee's and Carl's Jr. that they're not fooling anybody. Come on, guys, it's 2015, and you guys have been together for 20 years now. We can handle the truth, so let's stop pretending that you have two different places. Come out in the daylight and proudly celebrate your union by, by calling yourself Hard Carl. You're all, stop sending me this photo of a Trump rally with the sign, Thank you, Lord Jesus, for President Trump. It's not the sign that worries me, it's the baby. That look on his face says, I have seen the future and I want back in the womb. <laughs> New rule, don't judge how poorly the stock market is doing based on the reaction of the traders on the floor. They flip out over everything. These guys pictured here are just ordering coffee. <laughs> That's so true. Neural Fox News must capitalize on the current mood of their viewers and create their very first children's show, Anchor Babies. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh and learn along with Jesus, Wang, and Muhammad as they steal your hearts the way they stole their citizenship. They're adorable and they're deportable. <laughs> they're adorptable. New rule, someone must explain to the Missouri woman who saw an image of Donald Trump in it. <laughs> in a tub of margarine that, that's not an image, that's actually Donald Trump. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's true. Every night at midnight, he must return to his plastic tub. <laughs> and assume his natural state, a viscous oily goo. 
Because Donald Trump is actually a vampire made of vegetable oil. <laughs> Condemned to an eternity of anger tweeting until somebody spreads him over corn. Nero, you can get mad at this fat kid for tripping at the museum and punching a hole in a 350-year-old painting worth a million and a half dollars, but you've got to give him credit. He doesn't drop his soda. <laughs> USA. All right. Nero, now that Puxatoni... <laughs> I know, why do I even need a rule for this? Now that Puxatoni Phil has seen his shadow... Oh, wait, that's Donald Trump's head. I'm sorry, go on to the next one. You're right. New rule, Kim Kardashian must... Oh. Oh, my. Kim Kardashian must cover that up before she really does break the Internet. In Kim's latest photo spread, she appears to be outdoors, smoking with no pants on. An image that appeals to men whose sexual fantasy is catching a homeless woman taking a dump in an alley. I don't know which is more embarrassing for Kim, constantly having to market her ass, or the cars lining up behind her waiting to see the drive-in movie. <laughs> That's a big ass. Neural, now that ISIS has shocked the world by executing a prisoner, by putting him in a cage and burning him alive, Texas has to admit its reaction was, huh. Neural, now that Jeb Bush has admitted he smoked weed back in his salad days, Chris Christie must admit he never had any salad days. And I have to admit, when I first heard the phrase, Jeb Bush smoked some dope, I thought, Jeb killed his brother? New rule, get a room. Enough with the trophy kissing. Before you suck the air out of that ball, too. <laughs> Guys, it's the Vince Lombardi trophy, not the Vince Lombardi rest stop. <laughs> New Jersey people will be laughing, trust me. In New Jersey, with my folks, it's big. New rule, when your news network is doing a special about the Holocaust, you have to pick a host with a less Nazi-sounding name than... <laughs> Wolf Blitzer. And while we're at it, you might want to rethink your look back at Pearl Harbor with host Tojo Kamikaze. <laughs> All right, new rule. Unless the projectionist did something absolutely amazing, don't clap at the end of a movie. <laughs> I hate to be the one to break this to you, but Iron Man can't hear you. <laughs> You're applauding a light bulb. <laughs> Clapping for a movie is like tipping an inflatable sex doll. A slow gathering applause. <laughs> it took many years, but the applause came in. <laughs> Neural, if you stop at one of those dumpy casinos right over the Nevada border because Vegas is another 30 minutes away and you just can't wait that long, you have to go to a meeting. <laughs> Neural Sports Illustrated has to stop patting itself on the back for using a model who is plus sized. Okay, first of all, this isn't a plus-size model. It's a regular-size human being. You're... You're just used to minus-size bulimics. As is this male model, which is why he's touching her like, what is this, flesh? <laughs> Weird. <laughs> New rules, stop putting sriracha on everything. I... <laughs> I hate to break it to you, millennials, but it's just hot sauce. <laughs> it's not going to get you backstage at Coachella or pay off your student loan. All it's good for is spicing up the mac and cheese that you'll be eating for the rest of your life because... <laughs> because all the good jobs went to guys without neck tattoos. <laughs> Neural, now that scientists have decided that sugar will kill you, but fat is awesome, Coca-Cola must come out with a new beef-flavored soft drink called Mr. Meat. 
with no sugar and 50 grams of heart-healthy saturated fat. And don't forget to try Mr. <laughs> Mr. Meat with Sriracha. <laughs> Nero, no ruining Anna Wintour's Fashion Week by bringing in a screaming baby. If she wanted to hear crying children while admiring new clothes, she'd go to the factories where they sew them. <laughs> Nero, stop giving the job of fashion designer to the wrong person. Can you guess which of these two men is now the hottest designer in America? Is it the one in the nice tux? No. It's the one in the purple velvet pantsuit and baby booties. <laughs> now, where have I seen that look before? <laughs> troubling, <laughs> troubling. <laughs> Neural, now that those two guys who climbed that mile-high rock wall are down, and the hottest thing in sports is the Tough Mudder, an obstacle course where competitors carry 200-pound logs, swim in ice water, dodge live electrical wires, and crawl through pipes full of mud. Someone must explain to me, what is wrong with white people? <laughs> the rule of Google autocomplete really reflects popular questions previous users have asked. And when you type, is the moon, it adds real. <laughs> Give me the black capsule. Then I give up, because that means the most frequent question people ask Google about the moon is, is it real? <laughs> also, if people have really asked, is the moon hollow? Is the moon a spaceship? <laughs> and is the moon a hologram? <laughs> then President Rick Perry, it's all yours. <laughs> just, just take over. <laughs> Doesn't believe in evolution. New rule, the nose-to-nose -nose face off at the boxing weigh-in <laughs> must be recognized as the most homoerotic moment <laughs> in all of life. Fellas, you're buff, you're in your underwear, you're a centimeter away from making out, and you keep calling each other bitch. At this point, it would be actually less gay if you put the other guy's penis in your mouth. I... <laughs> New rule, someone must explain why prostitutes in movies are always laughing. It doesn't matter if it's a bordello in the 20s, a saloon in the Old West, or a whorehouse on Gang of Thrones. The hookers are always laughing, and the men they're with are laughing, too. Because, of course, there's nothing more hilarious than having unprotected sex with diseased strangers in an era before penicillin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, my lord, your penis is green. So it is, wench. Now hurry up before it falls off. <laughs>you don't have to apologize for saying something that's true. This week, sportscaster Jim Rome apologized for tweeting that marching bands are for dorks. <laughs> right, because nobody wettens panties like a fat guy walking around in circles playing Get Down Tonight on a clarinet with a mop on his head. <laughs> and while we're on the subject, everyone in the marching band who's not playing the trumpet or the drums can stay home because no one can hear you. New rule, mom's returning this Play-Doh cake... <laughs> ...returning this Play-Doh cake mountain toy because they're offended by its shape. Have to stop acting like that's the embarrassing part. The embarrassingest part is when you get home and have to explain to your kids why you have an even bigger one in the panty drawer. <laughs> New rule, now that Michelle Bachman is proudly tweeting photos of $1.98 gas, just like she promised when she ran for president, someone has to break it to her that she's not president. <laughs> we keep telling you, dear, you lost. You're not the president, and that's not the White House. That's the tool shed in the backyard. <laughs> New rule, if you spend $120 on Vessel, the new smart cup that tells you what's inside it, then congratulations, you're dumber than a cup. <laughs> finally, finally, a solution for all those times you have no idea what you're drinking. Is it beer? Is it coffee? Let's ask the cup. <laughs> Thank you.
Who could possibly need this other than women <laughs> dating Bill Cosby? <laughs> New rule, the NYPD must stop acting like the only thing black people do is run from them and shoot at them. Believe it or not, there are some black New Yorkers who won't run and can't shoot. They're called the Knicks. <laughs> New rules, the South Dakota Department of Public Safety can say this ad campaign doesn't mean stop masturbating. <laughs> but then they have to say what it does mean. And tell me, how else am I supposed to stay awake when I drive through South Dakota? <laughs> Neuro, stop trying to create controversy when a biopic doesn't tell the whole story. It's a movie, not a murder confession. But that's the knock against three of this year's Oscar contenders. Selma, Unbroken, and Foxcatcher. They left things out. You know what you get when you don't leave things out? 19 hours of The Hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a movie! If I want to hear every single pointless, soul-crushing detail of a stranger's life, I'll follow them on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> New rule, before fashionable Christians pay 800... <laughs> You're way ahead of me. Before fashionable Christians pay $800 for a cross from Tom Ford, they might want to take another look. <laughs> Up close, it's less Jesus and more St. Peter. <laughs> also, if you're still shopping online for nice Christian jewelry, do not Google pearl necklace. Just... <laughs> tell, tell the person sitting next to you. <laughs> New rule, now that Amazon has signed Woody Allen to write and direct his first TV series, it must be called How I Met Your Daughter. <laughs> wow. <laughs> new rule. <laughs> new rule, this new British furniture collection, designed to look, feel, and smell like human skin, must be made immediately available in the United States because why just sit on a conventional fabric chair when you can feel like you're being cradled in the crack of a fat guy's ass? <laughs> <laughs> yes, just what every American wife needs, another motionless doughy lump plopped down in front of the TV. Our new rule, in order to remain consistent, the next Republican State of the Union response must be delivered by an actual deer in headlights. <laughs> new rule, Mohamedou Slahi, the Guantanamo Bay prisoner whose published diary of torture, claims the two female guards once came into his cell and said, today, we're gonna teach you about great American sex and then forced him to take part in a three-way, has to admit, that part wasn't so bad. <laughs> new, new rule, before Instagram bans another foreign account <laughs> for showing a model's pubic hair, as they did this week, they have to explain to us out here in L.A., what's pubic hair? <laughs> New rule, if you actually want to buy the vajankle. <laughs> the new sex toy made to look like a disembodied foot with a vagina on top, you must first register as a sex offender. I know it sounds harsh, but this is no time for pussyfooting. <laughs> Things I've ever yeah, seen. I know it is. <laughs> the, con <laughs> the country of Nepal in the Himalayas has to learn how a real democracy operates. Come on, Nepal, you're better than this. When something is said in a joint session that you don't like, you don't start throwing the furniture around like an angry teenager. You pout and sulk like a little bitch. <laughs> All right, Neural, now that Apple, under its gay CEO, Tim Cook, has, <laughs> has made the largest quarterly profit in history, from now on, the phrase, you're so gay, means congratulations on your success. <laughs> That's good.
I just got that promotion. Dude, you're so gay. <laughs> New rules, stop calling these estate sales. <laughs> you live in Canoga Park, not Fox, Fox Catcher Farm. You're selling old clothes and VHS copies of the Police Academy movies to illegal immigrants. You're not Lord of the Manor. You're too cheap to donate to Goodwill. That's... I know. That's... New rule, if Kim Jong-un wants to be taken seriously as a tyrant, he has to stop plucking his eyebrows. <laughs> Man, it's your war face, not your vagina. That's good. Okay. That's good. New rule, someone has to tell Tahani Tipi, who's accused of trying to smuggle a heroin-laced Bible into an Ohio jail, that that stuff is dangerous. I mean, sure, it provides a euphoric sense of well-being, but then you're, you're hooked and you lose touch with reality. And, and heroin's not good for you either. That, uh, see the way I... Uh, well done, well done. It's my... <laughs> <laughs> New rule, it's time to admit that men who are into S&M don't look like this. <laughs> they look like this. <laughs> All right, new rule, any fix for immigration must be bipartisan. Hillary Clinton must contribute all her unsold books to building a wall. <laughs> and Democrats must allow ace goalie Tim Howard to set up on the border and keep out those kids. <laughs> Swat them back one at a time. New rule, someone has to put a stop to those internet ads that cover an entire website and stay there until you manage to find and click that tiny little button. Right. It's like trying to locate your computer's G-spot. <laughs> I just hope this gimmick ends before it spreads to other media, because, oh, for crying out loud, somebody <laughs> click that, would you please? <laughs> sure it went better in rehearsal. <laughs> New rule, you can make a good case for cutting the balls off a cat, but you can't pretend it makes the cat cool. <laughs> this is Scooter, the new mascot for neutering your cat. He's got sunglasses, <laughs> a big gold <laughs> necklace, and he's covered in fur. Oh, wait, that's not a cat. That's the Armenian guy who sold me my cell phone. <laughs> did, I, did I bring it back on? The... You did, yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, God. New rule, stop saying Obama's handshake with the horse's head was his weirdest meeting of the week. That was the next day when he met with the horse's ass. <laughs> new, rule, new rule, now that one in five people in the UK admitted they would have sex with a robot, Inflatable love dolls <laughs> must stop looking so surprised. <laughs> they do look surprised to me. <laughs> the rule, Americans who couldn't get interested in the World Cup, no matter how hard they tried, have to stop feeling guilty about it. It doesn't mean that we're not sophisticated. All it proves is that unemployed people will watch anything. <laughs> On the bright side, it has reminded the German people how good it feels to be whipped into a nationalistic frenzy, and what could go wrong with that? <laughs> New rule, the woman in England who spent $30,000 on plastic surgery to look like Kim Kardashian needs to spend a little more. <laughs> At this point, the only black celebrity she could make a sex tape with is Stevie Wonder. They don't get the show in England, it's okay. They <laughs> so never hear it. New rule, now that Marvel Comics has announced their superhero Thor is now a woman, they have to promise not to make Spider-Man gay. Because I can't think of a more offensive name for a gay man than Peter Parker. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Oh my. <laughs>
<laughs> New rule, with all the things going on in the world, John Kerry must understand this is not the time to play I Believe I Can Fly. <laughs> Plus, John, look around, they're Asians. All they're, think all they're thinking is, clearly he did not master his string instrument by age three. <laughs> <laughs> New rule, the Pope is a pimp. <laughs> I'm serious, I find myself wanting to ask this Pope a question I've never wanted to ask a Pope before. Can I party with you? <laughs> New rule, I'm not saying the Japanese can't make an iPhone case molded on an actual human vagina. <laughs> yes, they did. <laughs> I'm just saying they have to tell us why. <laughs> it's awkward enough butt-dialing now. <laughs> and who can, who can keep up? I'm still using my dictaphone. <laughs> All right, new rule. Now that America has helped the rest of the world address the problems at FIFA, it has to help the rest of the world address an even bigger world problem, Speedos on their beaches. <laughs> Here's how it's going to work. If there are too many Speedos on your beaches this summer, sanctions will be drawn up and enforced. But if you combine a Speedo with gold chains, we invade. That's <laughs> Now that Dennis Hastert can be added to the list of those who pushed for the impeachment of Bill Clinton, then later got busted for their own sex scandals, along with Newt Gingrich, Bob Livingston, and Henry Hyde, from now on, the four of them must be referred to as the impeachable. <laughs> huh? Maybe you could be in that one, too. <laughs> New rule, Cameron Crowe doesn't have to apologize for casting Emma Stone as an Asian in his new movie. There's nothing inherently racist about having a white person play an Asian. Just ask Jerry Lewis and Mickey Rooney. <laughs> new rule, if you're banning pigeon breeding as ISIS did, because the sight of their genitalia as they fly overhead is offensive to Islam, You've got bigger problems than the infidel. Pigeons are harmless and take flight the moment they're startled. No, wait, that's the Iraqi army. <laughs> well, either way, why not embrace the more obvious rational solution, fitting the pigeons with tiny little pigeon burkas? <laughs> Nero, someone has to pull Chris Christie aside. <laughs> someone has to pull Chris Christie aside and tell him the lap band goes on the inside. <laughs> this is a real picture of something Chris Christie did sober and on purpose this week at a charity event. A charity event to turn women into lesbians. <laughs> Sammy Sosa, meet Sammy Sofa. <laughs> hey, make fun of how Christie looks all you want. He did hit a double, and it's nice to hear about a conservative getting to second base this week, besides Josh Duggar. Anyway. <laughs> all right, new rule. Malaysian authorities who claimed, in all seriousness, that the earthquake near Mount Kinabalu was caused by tourists taking nude photos on the mountain <laughs> must be told they're being ridiculous. Ask anyone here in modern America. Natural disasters are not caused by tourists and nude photos. They're caused by abortion and gay marriage. <laughs> <laughs> New rule, the geniuses who just announced Apple Music, the new killer app that features professional humans instead of machines constructing real-time playlists, have to be congratulated for inventing radio. <laughs> New rule of Disneyland has to make a rule not to use selfie sticks on the roller coasters. Oh, no. Then the magic of this kingdom is that people this stupid got this far.
Or maybe they need even more signs, like mermaid can breathe underwater, but not you. <laughs> Large duck in sailor suit, not real duck, do not eat. <laughs> New rule, from now on, all religions must perform this ritual. I don't know what it is. <laughs> this guy could be getting baptized. He, he could be getting punked, who cares? <laughs> Genghis Khan is pimp slapping him with a wet cross. It's perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. Especially for people who think gay pride parades are weird. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> New rule, if you get in a fist fight at Walmart that starts with you getting out of your rascal scooter and ends... <laughs> <laughs> and ends with you telling your five-year-old... Daddy, punch her in her fucking face! <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> You're white trash, yeah. And from now on, these videos. Oh, 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 oh! oh. 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 <laughs> from now on, these videos have to end like one of those movies where everyone gets a freeze frame and a "Where are they now?" <laughs> Star of TLC's "Here Comes Tubby Punch Punch," <laughs> Governor of Alaska. <laughs> And police officer Orange County. Come on, Bill. <laughs> Earned my pay this week. <laughs> Neural cops in New York hunting for those two prison escapees have to admit that this is pretty much how they'd spend their weekend if nobody had escaped from prison. <laughs> You gear up and you go four-wheeling, then maybe some duck hunting, you take the boat out, and next it'll be like, hey, Jimmy, you know where we forgot to look? The titty bar. <laughs> New rule, Jessica Chastain and Bryce Dallas Howard must star in a movie that answers a question I've had for a long time. What happened to those two little girls in The Shining? <laughs> New rule, current events buffs reading about how the avian flu has caused an egg shortage in Texas have to admit at least part of the reason you clicked on the story was because this photo made you vaguely horny. <laughs> I said vaguely. New rule, stop interpreting this viral photo of the raccoon hitching a ride on an alligator as an example of animal kingdom friendship. <laughs> as much as you'd like to think it's some sort of marshland Uber driver, it's actually just a gator taking his lunch to work. <laughs> New rule, as soon as she's feeling up to it... <laughs> Rachel Dolezal must go on a date with Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> and they both must wear this dress. <laughs> Do you see a black woman in a gold and white dress? Or do you see a white man in a black and blue dress? It's the perfect modern mind bender. And, and you know what? Stop attacking Rachel for wanting to be black. Sometimes we white people can pull it off. And sometimes we can't. <laughs> Sorry, one more thing. <laughs> now that Rachel Dolezal claims there is no biological proof that she is the daughter of her white parents, Donald Trump must insist that she produce her birth certificate. <laughs> and, and Don, speaking of producing your birth certificate, I know things got kind of crazy when you filed that lawsuit against me, but... <laughs> We never really did clear up that issue of who your biological parents are. <laughs> New rule, now that the Confederate flag is on its way out, someone has to reassure Southern men, wondering what they're going to run up and down their pole, that they still have their sister's hand. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Oh, my God. New rule, the developers of the sex doll capable of blinking, opening its mouth, and having a conversation with you, 
must realize that the whole point of having sex with a doll is that afterward, no one's asking you, what are you thinking? <laughs> you know you're a loser when you drop 10 grand on one of these dolls and after sex it says, we need to talk. <laughs> Neural, now that Pizza Hut has introduced its hot dog pizza with 28 hot dogs baked into its crust, <laughs> Americans have to... You know what? Fuck it, I don't care anymore. <laughs> Eat it. Eat the whole thing by yourself. Drop dead at an early age for all I care. It's one fewer person out here who needs water. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the... Neuro, the inventor of cowboy boot sandals, <laughs> has to ask himself, why didn't anyone think of this before? <laughs> and then answer his own question, because it's ugly and stupid. <laughs> Neuro, since a million readers have bought gray, Fifty Shades of Gray, as told by Christian, other writers have to rip off their own books by selling them again from a different character's point of view. Jaws from the shark's point of view. <laughs> Snacks. <laughs> Heaven is for real from God's point of view. Go home, you little bastard. <laughs> Jurassic Park from the point of view of a dinosaur. The Omnivore's Dilemma. <laughs> All right. Neuro, now that the Cleveland woman who dropped a two-year-old in the cheetah pit at the zoo has been punished with a leave of absence from her job at the daycare center, <laughs> someone has to tell me what you've got to do over there to get fired. <laughs> Put twins in the wood chipper? I, you know, I... <laughs> I get presumed innocent, but with that kind of job security, you should be a cop. <laughs> there are all North Korean textbooks can claim Kim Jong-un writes musicals, won our yacht race in grade school, and learned to drive when he was three. But they can't claim this is his picture. I mean, I don't like kids and I hate dictators, but this is adorable. <laughs> I'm not even starving in North Korea, and I want to eat him up. <laughs> and driving at three, that's a very young age to learn to not signal. <laughs> New World, if you spent any time at all this week arguing whether the cat in this viral photo is coming up the steps or going down the steps, you missed the bigger question. How come the cat gets nine lives and you don't even have one? <laughs> <laughs> Neural, the Fox News host who said Hillary Clinton ate at Chipotle to appeal to Hispanic voters <laughs> must answer me this. Where is she supposed to eat? If she goes to Chick-fil-A, they'll claim she's flip-flopped on gay marriage. Panda Express, she's not being tough enough in China. <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts sympathizing with violent cops. <laughs> Dairy Queen sounds too much like Welfare Queen, and thanks to her husband, forget about going to In-N-Out. <laughs> New role, somebody needs to tell this Korean guy, singing about how much he loves a big booty, that he's in the wrong country. <laughs> You call that a booty? We have toddlers with more junk in the truck. <laughs> you want to see a booty? Go to a Walmart on Saturday. We'll hook you up. <laughs> Neural, if she wants to attract young voters, Hillary Clinton needs a campaign logo that lo looks less like hospital parking. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of logos, the designers of the logo for Sarah Palin's pack should talk to the guys who draw Goofy. Uh, they can explain that when you see stars, it doesn't really mean you're looking to the future. It means you just walked into a stop sign.
New World, if you make your living stalking and killing innocent animals, as professional game hunter Ian Gibson did, and you're leading a safari to kill elephants, as Ian Gibson was, and during that safari, an elephant tramples you to death, good. And by the way, we know the elephant is the nobler of the two because when the hunter wins, it's the greatest moment of his life. And when the elephant wins, it's, ooh, what did I step in? <laughs> New rule, you could buy a $75 toaster that burns a picture of your face <laughs> into the bread. But if you just want women who stay over to never come back, say so. <laughs> What kind of needy loner says, hey, look at that bread you're eating, it's really me. <laughs> New World, the woman who got a tattoo of her favorite band, The Lost Prophets, and then found out the lead singer is a child molester, has to tell the woman with the Cosby tattoo <laughs> that it could be worse. By the way, the worst thing about getting a Cosby tattoo on your thigh, <laughs> what happens when your leg falls asleep? <laughs> New rule, once you're dead, you have to shut up about politics. North Carolina's Larry Upright, yes, Larry Upright, was such a staunch Republican that in his obituary it said, the family respectfully asked that you do not vote for Hillary Clinton. <laughs> and then to honor Larry, they held a moment of Fox News on mute. <laughs> you know what, Larry, if you can think it's funny to campaign against Hillary Clinton in your obituary, then I can think it's funny that you're dead and your name is upright. New rule, now that Kim Jong-un has executed some 70 officials, he has to explain why his barber is still alive. <laughs> is it possible he's surrounded by sycophants? So many sycophants that nobody has the nerve to tell him his hair looks ridiculous. Yes, I suppose that is possible. New rule, Columbia House, the 13 albums for a dollar people, must not be allowed to file for bankruptcy as they did this week. They must be charged with crimes against humanity. <laughs> who will speak for the millions who were forced to buy Spandau Ballet? <laughs> Men at Work and Laura Branigan albums they did not want. Or that Bruce Willis Bruno album. <laughs> And who will hold to account the company that invented the long-term contract you can never get out of before Verizon and Comcast perfected it? <laughs> New rule, Gwyneth Paltrow has to answer this question. Are you trying to make us hate you? This week, Gwyneth spoke about GMO labeling on Capitol Hill, but when it was Senator Leahy's turn to speak, she started texting. You know, if this keeps up, you're going to ruin the end of the movie Seven, because when the audience finds out it's your head in the box, they're just gonna go, good. <laughs> oh, sorry, spoiler alert. Neural, now that the thing we used to use to phone each other is being used for everything but phoning each other, we must stop calling it a phone. It's time to call these things what they really are, food cameras and douchebag locators. <laughs> And in a related new rule, just so we're clear, if you look directly at me and speak, and then when I reply, you point to your headset to indicate you're actually talking to someone else on the phone, you're the asshole. <laughs>